Welcome to the 2013 Color Guard Makeup Application video. Today we're going to show you exactly how to put on your makeup. This coming week you'll be getting a Color Guard Makeup Application Sheet that looks much like this. You'll also be getting a costuming sheet that also says some of the same things but also talks about what you're going to wear as well. But today we're going to concentrate on your makeup. Our model for today is Miss Whitaker. Uh, she has a clean face. You need to make sure that you start and you bring to school. If we are doing our makeup at school, you need to make sure you bring a washcloth to school. You need to make sure you have paper towels handy. And just remember not to flip out because very rarely can you mess up with any of this, even if you rarely or never wear makeup. One more reminder before we get started is that we all need to know and understand that this is not everyday makeup wear. And I'm going to be giving you some tips that you could use every day if you wear makeup every day, but this is not the regular way to wear makeup. This is theatrical style makeup. Um, if you have a student or if you are a student that doesn't normally wear makeup, this may seem a little uncomfortable for you at first, but again, this is theatrical style makeup. Um, the idea is that we need to see your face and we need to see the makeup from long distances away. So please just keep that in mind as we continue. Step number one is to cleanse your face. Remember to use cold water when washing your face. You always want to start with a clean face. The cold water is going to close your pores so that the makeup sits on top of your face and does not get inside your pores. That's an everyday tip as well. Also remember when you apply your cleanser to use circular motions to wash your face, then use a washcloth, not a paper towel, to wash your face. Step number two is to moisturize. You always want to moisturize your face before applying makeup. That is yet another everyday tip. We're going to give Miss Whitaker just a little bit on her fingertips of moisturizer. She's going to apply that all over her face in circular motions and also on her neck. Step number three is your foundation. Uh, the foundation that we want for you to use is a cake-based foundation. Today we're going to be using a product called Mary Kay Cream to Powder Foundation. We've used this for years. It works really well with Color Guard, does well with sweat and with performance. Um, if you don't want to use the Mary Kay product, please look for something that's not a liquid. Um, but again, this is theatrical style makeup. If you use a liquid every day, don't use that for Color Guard. So today we're going to apply this to uh, Miss Whitaker. Um, you want to use downward motions when applying the foundation. And again, you can see that it's kind of drying to a powder-like. And you also want to make sure that you blend it into your hairline. When applying the foundation, you also want to make sure that you're using about twice as much as you normally would for everyday wear. Step number four is your concealer. Concealer is important because it's going to hold your eyeshadow on um, more. It's going to make your eye pop, and also we're going to get rid of any blemishes. Your concealer color needs to be the exact same color of your foundation or just a hair shade lighter. We're going to use our fourth finger, which is also on your instructions and put a little bit of concealer on our fourth finger. We're going to have uh, Miss Whitaker actually look straight up in the air. When you're working on somebody else around their eyes, especially under their eyes, you want to have them look up and not close their eye so you can get right up under their eye. But we're just going to pat this color on, blend it into her foundation. Alright, as you can see on Miss Whitaker now, we've completed this eye. We have not this eye. You can probably see that this eye is brighter. Now we're going to go back and we're going to cover up some dark spots and maybe some blemishes. All you need to do is put a little dab of concealer and then just pat around it to blend it into your foundation. Step number five is powder. You want to use a pressed powder and not a loose powder. You also need to get you a large natural bristle brush. We're going to dab and get a good bit of powder. And again, you want to apply about twice as much as you normally would. And basically what you want to do first is you want to set your eyes because that's what powder is for. 
and we just kind of dab and pat the color on, get us some more color on our brush, get the other eye on. And this is how we're going to apply the powder for the rest of the face. Step number six is your eyeliner. This year we're going to be using a white waterproof eyeliner. And the one that I like a lot is not a Mary Kay product. Mary Kay doesn't do a white eyeliner. This is a product that I found at Ulta in Rock Hill. It's the NYX Retractable Eyeliner and it is NPE01 White. And again, it's waterproof. You can pick this one up um, at your Ulta store in Rock Hill. I have heard that uh, Target also sells this brand. You can also order it online. Um, we're going to apply this right now on Miss Whitaker. And when you apply your eyeliner, and again, this is another everyday tip, you need to start from the inside of your eye and apply right next to the lashes. Now, this is going to be a pretty bold line, and you can see that this is going on very easily for us. And again, this is going to be a fairly thick line. You want to go a little beyond the crease right here and get right up in your inner crease. But again, start from the inside crease and come out. Make a very, very bold, opaque line. Opaque just simply means that you cannot see through it. Continuing with the eyeliner, now we're going to focus on the bottom eyeliner. Um, I know a lot of you like to pull down your eye to put your eyeliner on, and that is not a good thing, and it's not a healthy thing. Actually, a lot of bacteria lives there. So we're going to put our eyeliner on. We're going to meet where we stopped up top. We're going to put our eyeliner on. Those of you that are veterans that have done this before know that I always teach you to stop your eyeliner about right there. But this time, since we're using white, we're going to go all the way to the inside. And again, using a pretty thick, bold line and putting, layering it on until it's just about opaque. Just... As you put your eyeliner on, you're going to see that some of your foundation color and uh, concealer color come off on the eyeliner. This is why you need to have a paper towel handy. If you'll just move and rotate the eyeliner on the paper towel to get that color off, that way you can just reapply to your eye. Step number seven is your eye color or your eyeshadow. This year we won't be using a Mary Kay product. We're going to be using a Ben Nye product. And this is real theatrical makeup. Um, you can do a Google search for this. It's going to cost you somewhere around $7 to um, $17, depending on who you buy it from. I got this from bandshop.com, and I can give you that information later on. Um, we're going to buy one of these per every two of our students so that two students can have a makeup buddy and share this. Um, if you do want your own, just let me know and I can either order that for you or you can buy it on your own. Um, again, this is re real theatrical makeup and uh, we will supply this if you don't want to buy it on your own. To apply it, you need a small eye natural bristle brush. Um, and you may be asking why the natural bristles. Natural bristles pick up color um, more, and they also apply it smoother. Um, and it's going to go on. It actually saves the cost of your eyeshadow, so that's kind of another daily tip. We're going to apply the eyeshadow uh, to Miss Whitaker. You're going to start in the crease and go out. This is going to cover from lash to brow. Okay, we've got our first coat on Miss Whitaker here. This is about what you would wear every day. We're going to apply from lash to brow. However, we're going to be putting anywhere from 8 to 10 coats of your eye color on. You need to apply your eye color to where it's just about opaque. And that just simply means that you really can't see any skin through. Almost needs to look like that you're wearing white out on your eyes.
All right, we're probably about on um, coat number eight or nine on this eye. And again, with your eyeshadow this year, you're going to get a good bit on the brush, and you're going to go right over your eyebrow, and maybe even just a hair above, and it's okay if you have like a little line or a little streak above, but you want to get that eyeshadow in your eyebrow. We're not going to be getting a eyebrow pencil this year, and we're not going to be darkening in our eyes or in our eyebrows. Once you come out toward this way, you just want to kind of blend this out to your temple and toward your ear so that there's not a harsh line here. But again, just make sure that on your eye all the way up to your eyebrow that it is nice and opaque. Okay, as you notice with the mini coats that I applied on Miss Whitaker, you see some residual powder down here. All you need is a really good friend. Miss Whitaker needs to hold her breath, and I'm going to blow it off her face. And that's how you remove that. The other way to do that is if you take your powder brush, and you're just simply going to brush it away with the brush that you used with your pressed powder. You just brush that right away if it fell on your cheeks and that makes it nice and clean. Step number eight, we're back with our white waterproof eyeliner. And basically this is another coat of eyeliner. I know it probably, you're not gonna be able to see that much of a difference, but trust me, it'll make all the difference in the world. You want to go back over your eyeliner and basically this is setting what you did before and making those eyes pop even more. You wanna do your top and your bottom. Continuing with step number eight is to set the eyeliner. Um, to do this, I'm using my dual eyebrow brush and eyeliner uh, brush as well. And again, these are natural bristle brushes. You want to take your eyeliner brush, which is a thin slanted brush. You can get these at CVS. Just make sure they're natural bristles. You're going to get a little bit of color. And again, this is the Ben Nye Ice color. You're going to get a little bit of color here, and then you're going to go straight over your eyeliner. And just as we put powder over our foundation, we're putting eyeshadow or powder over our eyeliner to set it open. Another thing that Mary Kay does not offer that we're going to be using this year is the Ben Nye Sparklers. This is MD10 Silver Prism. This is yet again another theatrical uh, makeup product that we're using. You can again get this from Band Shop. Um, we also are going to get one of these for every two of our members. If you want your own, I think this is around $6 actually, so it's not that bad. This comes in a little pot, and it's very, very fine glitter. And you're going to take your same eyeshadow brush, you will have knocked off all the shadow off the brush. You're going to dip it right inside here, and it's going to pick up a good bit of color, as you can see, or of the glitter. And you don't have to be so neat about this, but we're going to start at the brow and put a good, put a good bit on at the brow. And you can already see that some has floated down on the cheek. That's okay, because that's exactly what we want. And again, I'm going to go over the brow again. And that is coat number two. We're going to go for coat number three, brow. We're going to go for coat number four. This is going to be on the lid. And whatever residual uh, ends up here is perfectly okay. We want to let that stay. I don't want you to apply it down here. Just whatever falls down naturally is what needs to stay. Our next step is our mascara. We are still wearing a black waterproof mascara. This is the Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara that's also lash lengthening. We're going to let Miss Whitaker apply this to herself. You never want to pump your mascara brush up and down. It just creates more air in there. It, it makes your uh, mascara not live as long and also gets bacteria in there. So you just want to pull it out. And then she's going to apply it herself using a mirror. And you can see how she's going back and forth. 
side to side. That's exactly how we need to apply our mascara. That's to also help not getting any of that black mascara on our white eyeshadow or our glitter. To apply mascara to your bottom lashes, you want to just simply place the brush right next to your lashes and then shimmy it back and forth. Do not go from the root of your lash to the tip of your lash in a swooping motion. Go side to side, just like Miss Whitaker is doing. Again, this is going to protect you from getting mascara um, on your cheek and on your eye, and also it helps coat the eye lash better. Our final step in our makeup application is our lips. We're not using a lipstick and we're not using a lip gloss, so that saves us a little bit of money. We're actually using some foundation. You can use foundation or concealer, but the main idea is that you want your lips to be the exact same color as the rest of your face. So Miss Whitaker is going to dip her fourth finger, which is exactly what I want you to use, into the foundation. She's going to just cover her lips in foundation so that they just kind of blend right in. And the idea is that we just simply want your eyes to pop, and your eyes are really going to play off of your costume, which are the exact same colors. And this is our makeup application look for 2013. One thing you do, do not need to forget is your eye makeup remover. If you wear makeup every day, you need to remove your eye makeup before you apply this makeup. And also to remove everything that we just taught you how to put on, um, how to remove it easier. Because one thing you don't need to do is start scrubbing with a um, washcloth or a paper towel to get all this makeup off. So what we're going to use is the oil-free eye makeup remover and this is probably one of my favorite products and it actually looks oily but there's no oil in it. To activate the product you just shake it up and you can either use a cotton ball, a cotton pad, or a paper towel. In this case I'm just using a paper towel. You put some of the product on the paper towel and basically she's just going to hold it over her eye um, for about 10 seconds and then it's just going to easily wipe right off. Um, you also need to keep in mind that we are doing four coats of waterproof mascara, which is pretty difficult to come off, um, which is the point of us using it. Um, but you're going to need a product like this and see how easily that half of it just came off. If, if she needs to apply more of the product to the paper towels, she certainly can, but it's going to help you in the long run get all of that eye makeup off. All of the products that you saw us use today um, are all Mary Kay products and you can get those through me. I am a independent beauty consultant for Mary Kay. Um, I don't do this to make any money. All of the products are 40% off retail price. You can look these products up on MaryKay.com and you can order from me. I will be putting out an order form. If you'd like to, from, to order from me, that's fine. Um, there's no pressure. Again, all the products are Mary Kay products. They're tried and true. We've used them every year and we've had really, really good results with them. The only three that you can't get through me are these three. The one of these three that you need to go out and get on, by yourself on your own is the eyeliner. And again, you can get any white eyeliner. You do need to get one that is retractable, that rolls up and down, not the pencil kind where you have to have a pencil sharpener. And it does need to be waterproof. So just make sure it doesn't have to be this brand. It doesn't have to be this exact one. But this one we, we really like. Um, these two, again, are the two that we're going to buy one per every two members. If Here's an example of the Ben Nye Lumineer eyeshadow on bandshop.com that is b-a-n-d-s-h-o-p-p-e dot com you just simply click on guard there at the top and then it will pull a drop down menu you click on makeup the eyeshadow is ten dollars on bandshop the sparklers are six dollars <laughs> Thank you.